This video will be an overview of the navigating buttons in Topspin, located at the top of the screen. These buttons are designed to simplify your experience in Topspin, so it's a really good idea to make sure you know what they do. The first four buttons up here are intensifiers and will either increase or decrease your spectrum by the factor indicated. For example, if we want to increase the intensity of the spectrum by eightfold, you can click this larger by factor of eight button. If we want to decrease the intensity by half, you can click over here. Take note that if you ever forget what a button does, if you simply hover over it, you can see underneath the command bar down here, it will give you a little description of what it does. If you wish to manually intensify the spectrum, you can click over here, and by clicking and dragging the mouse up and down, you can either manually increase or decrease the spectrum. If you feel like you've gone too far and you simply want to start over, so we'll make it very intense, you can click this button here and it'll reset the intensity, making your most intense peak sort of the upper limit of the spectrum. The next set of buttons are similar to the first set, except they will zoom in and out of the spectrum. Again, you can either click on these preset buttons to zoom in or out in a preset amount, or you can manually zoom in and out by clicking and dragging your mouse left to right to either zoom in or out of your spectrum. If you know an exact region you want to zoom in on, you can click this PPM button and you can select a certain region. So for example, if I want to identify the chloroform peak, which I know falls at 7.27, I can set my range from 7.5 to 7.0, and that will zoom directly in on that region. And you can see right here, we have chloroform. If you want to undo your previous zooming, you can click this Show Last Zoom button, and it will bring you back to where you were. One of the most helpful buttons in this section is this one, which is the Show Full Spectrum button. If you ever feel like you've gone too far zooming or phasing or anything like that, you can click this button and it will bring you back to the original spectrum. If you want to zoom in on a certain section of the spectra, you can simply click and drag over a region and it will zoom in. Or another option is you can toggle the interactive zoom method, which will allow you to box in a region. This allows you to also set the intensity of the peak. To shift the spectrum around, you can use this next set of buttons. You, if you wish to jump from one end of the spectrum to the next, you can click these preset shift to the left end or to the right end of the spectrum buttons. Or if you wish to sort of hop along the spectrum, you can click these buttons. Again, if you wish to manually move around, you can click and drag. And this works both for moving the spectrum around horizontally and vertically. If you want to move the entire baseline to the center, you can click this button. And if you want to move it all the way to the bottom, you can click this button. If you want to see your spectrum displayed in Hertz instead of PPM, you can click here. And to revert, you can just click it again. If you wish to see the y-axis in order to compare peaks with relative intensities, click right here. And you can also put a grid on the spectrum to further help you identify peaks. If you want to see how far two peaks are away from each other, you can start a distance measurement. And by clicking and then dragging, you can see exactly how far two peaks are away from each other. The Spectrum Overview button is extremely helpful. If you click it, you can have an overview of your entire spectrum. So when you want to zoom in on one region or another, you can zoom in, but you'll also have a bearing on where you are on the spectrum as a whole. Do not click this button. It's not going to help you, and you can potentially ruin your data. 
Finally, we have the multiple data set button, and that will be covered in a different video as it's pretty complicated. So to wrap this up, just remember that these buttons are here to help you, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to just sit down and play with them until you get familiar with what they do.